A person who is anonymous says, when we do not have wudu, is it not permissible to touch the Qur'an, whether it's writing, the spaces between the lines, its margins, binding, the carrying strap attached to it, or the bag or box it is in? Can we pick it up and read it using a cloth on our hand as a barrier? This is an issue of dispute among scholars. Now, the origin of this dispute is a verse in the Quran, which all scholars say that it does not refer to the Quran. Yet you find it in so many copies, لا يمسه إلا المطهرون, that it is not to be touched except by those who were purified. And this is in Surah Al-Waqi'ah. And this ayah is referring to the preserved tablet and the mutahharun, the purified, are the angels. So it has no reference to the Qur'an. But there is a hadith where the Prophet ﷺ wrote a letter to the people of Yemen, and he stated in it that, لا يمس القرآن إلا طاهر, that the Qur'an must not be touched except by someone who's pure. Now, the vast majority of scholars said that you have to be in the state of wudu. And this is why we always advise people to be in the state of wudu if you want to touch the Qur'an. However, some scholars argued this and said that to be pure, as mentioned in the hadith, has three levels. So a mushrik is impure. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Qur'an, إِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ najas. Verily that idol worshippers, polytheists, are impure. And this is not referring to the physical impurity, but rather to the internal purity, because they're associating others, they're worshipping others than Allah. So to us Muslims, they are impure internally. Their souls are not pure. Others say, a person who has a major ritual impurity, whether through ejaculation, intercourse, or menses or postnatal bleeding. This person is considered to be impure. So he as well is not, or she, are not allowed to touch the Quran according to the hadith. And finally, a person who has nullified his wudu by answering the call of nature, by sleeping, by uh, eating camel's meat. So which one do we say that the Prophet meant, alayhi salatu wasalam? It's an issue of dispute, and it's a long topic where each party has their own evidences. Hence, it is safer for you to be on the safe side, not to touch the Qur'an. If you touch it wearing gloves, then inshallah there's nothing wrong in that. Better more, nowadays we have uh, uh, our uh, uh, PDAs, we have our mobile phones, we have our tablets, our computers, the books of tafsir. All of these do not require that you be in the state of wudu.